not something that I think we can get through unless uh, the individuals involved um, resign from office. I don't see any way past this because if we have any obstacles that are going to get in the way of healing from a group of elected officials that engaged in racism against an African-American child, that engaged in horrific things said about indigenous peoples from Oaxaca, that that alluded to some of the old tropes against the LGBTQ community. I don't see how that presence continuing in city leadership is going to allow the city to move forward, to heal, to move past this, to reconcile. I just think that that presence will continue to be an obstacle if it is still there in the halls of power at Los Angeles City Hall. Angelinos deserve better. We all deserve better. And uh, I, I think that this is a moment of reconciliation for all of us. Um, what we do when no one is looking is the definition of integrity. And this is a violation of that, of that meaning. It's a violation of the trust that we've all given uh, our, our colleagues. Uh, and it's just a really sad, it's, it's a devastating day for Los Angeles. And getting through yesterday was really tough. And I think getting through today is, is the objective. And I think that um, celebrating, acknowledging, commemorating Indigenous Peoples Day is, uh, can help us through that. But we have a lot of work to do moving forward. Um, and that's, that's how I feel about what happened yesterday. There were some Colleagues, at this critical and devastating moment, I'm here to affirm there is no place for this. There are no excuses, not in this chamber, not as a member of this body, not in this building, not in this city, not in the year 2022, not ever. Council Member Bonin, you and I are the only LGBTQ members of this council. I was at you and Sean's wedding. You have a beautiful son and a beautiful family. And in many communities, including the one we both belong to, we build our families. That is a big part of our culture. Your family is an inspiration to all of us, all people, including me and my partner, George. My heart, our hearts are with you, Sean, and your family at this time. You deserved better. We deserve better. The people of Los Angeles deserve better. I do not believe... I do not believe we can have the healing that is necessary or govern as we need to while Council Members Martinez, De Leon, and Cedillo remain as members of this council. I say those words with a heavy heart, but this is a heavy and a deeply tragic moment for this city. The court of public opinion has rendered a verdict, and the verdict is they all must resign. They need to consider what is best for the city and the people of Los Angeles. That is the only consideration. They must ask, ask themselves what will be their role to help us heal. And, and can that healing happen if they remain around this horseshoe? And I believe it cannot. In the coming days, there is an enormous amount of business to attend to. I preside before you today as acting city council president, but I state unequivocally, I have no interest in seeking the council presidency so myself. I had no ambition to be a president pro tem, but I answered the call to serve, as I has, have always done. My only motivation then and now is to be a public servant.